Okay, welcome back. Now, of course, like the one arcade game that I'm actually okay at. Okay at. Okay at. Is not on here. The Rolling like Thunder. I want to see what that is. It's. Is no, it? No, no, no. It's gonna have to wait. Okay. There was another game I caught my eye. This is the Namco 50th Anniversary Edition. All ten games that they. Uh, poor man's Invaders. Okay. This is Invaders. Hey, I mean, those copyright laws were pretty loose back then, I guess. Oh, they fire at you? I mean, the graphics are pretty good on this. I think I'm thinking of, like, um, the Space Invaders NES port that has, it, or the Atari version, where it's really shitty. But, was the Space Invaders game actually, did it look like this? Was it this good? Uh, so Invaders actually, you have shields. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can hide behind stuff. Oh, yeah, we played Space Raiders. That was like a knockoff or a reimagining yeah, of Space like... Invaders for the GameCube. Or like Resident Evil, but bad. But worse, I should. Oh, God damn. Well, you got two more lives. This is interesting. Like, I didn't even know Namco made all these games. Actually, this makes sense, because Bandai and Namco got involved in making Smash 4, and that's probably why they added that, uh, that flag item to the game. Uh, well, yeah, the yeah, final yeah. boss! Oh, he loops. There's no escape. Got him. Got him, bitch. Alright, level two. Enemy mothership approaching. Holy shit, I did it. I, I got to level two, and I only died once. People at home right now are laughing at me. <laughs> laughing. Why, because you look, took a life on the first Look at wave. this millennial gamer. Can't fucking- God oh, damn it! Oh, shit. <laughs> now they're laughing. <laughs> okay. I wish there was like a bomb or something and you take like half the amount. Well, there is no such thing. There's only skill, precision timing, firing lasers at spaceships because we're American. And we're flying a giant ship that looks like a penis. With wings. So, I w another question is, I know Donkey Kong had something called a kill... A kill screen. Do, uh, do all arcade games have kill screens? Do these still have kill screens even though it's... An emulated yes. game? Yes. Interesting. No. I actually... You want to see me get to the Pac-Man kill screen? I... You, no. You would never be able to do it in half an hour. <laughs> 20 minutes. How long is Pac-Man anyway? What's the Pac-Man world record speed run? These are questions we must know. What's Mappy? Mappy sounds like a fun kid's game. Oh, I, Why, I think bad. I've heard of this. I've got a bad feeling about this, Fox. Amco presents... Super Mario Brothers 2, where everything is shrunk down. Oh, yeah. I've, oh, I've, God, I've, my eyes. I have played this. Oh, boy. Okay. We're, we're a mouse in the house. And are those cats chasing you? I don't know. Well, I don't get it. What happened? Or is this like Hotel Mario? Well, at least you know how to play it. I'm... I really don't. <laughs> I'm bullshitting. <laughs> um, okay, there's a TV. Side note, this reminds me of a cool Mac game from the 90s called Glider. Where you would play as a paper airplane and go through a house. It's just like... What uh, year did this come out? 85? Uh, uh, probably uh, mid-80s. No, probably actually early 80s, right? What, what, what just happened? Oh, that's Pac-Man's recovery move! Oh, yeah! It's all starting to make sense now. Pac-Man isn't Pac-Man. Pac-Man is Namco. Pac-Man is Namco. When you fight, when you fight as... Oh, fuck this he shit. Was, he was Namco this whole time. It's like Duck Hunt. I mean, sorry. Duck. Duck! God! Okay, that was a good take. We know you didn't try to say anything dirty there. I didn't. <laughs> I was trying to enunciate. Hey, what are the options? Press X. Settings. Settings. Top. I can change your lives. Nah, don't do that. That's cheap. You can only, well, you can only take one away. Really? Oh, it's per game. We put our bonus points all the way up just so we can get free points to unlock more games. Shut up. Oh, okay. Boy, boss, boss. Did we unlock this one? Maybe. I don't fucking know. Okay, we're playing Boskinen. Condition green. They use the map from the racing game too. Bosco. 
Is that a hot chocolate? Well, this is me. Yeah, like they put a narrator in there. What is this, Gauntlet of Legends? Oh, this is actually really cool. All right, we got a good game. I like how that was the one that was locked. Did they say Allah? Oh, no, alert. Oh, <laughs> this is a very British accent. A lot, a lot. The blue boomerang from Zelda is coming in hot. Yeah, man, these games are before my time, man. Yeah. I appreciate that they exist. I would love to have, like, a room of just cabinets if they were free, but... Nah. But they still have them at places like Barcade. Got him! Bonus time. For no miss clear. Oh, you didn't miss any shots? I... I don't, whatever that means. Bosco. I think he's saying lock on. Oh. <laughs> They really could have did a better job with the uh, voice acting. I know it's an 80s game, but... I think it's a machine doing it. Really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Ah! Damn blue boomerangs. <laughs> so I was just thinking of Star Wars, too. <laughs> the shields are down! Retreat! Oh, man. Can you imagine? We're, we're sitting here playing this on the GameCube. Can you imagine when we roll on uh, Rogue Squadron 2? Oh, oh man. Then you mean? I'm sorry. Did you mean to say the best Star Wars game ever made? Uh, yeah. You mean uh, Jedi Power Battles? Fuck you. <laughs> Go you watch me, that episode. You made me fucking think of that. <laughs> How dare you make me think of that shit? Uh, I wish we could have got the co-op to work on that. Ah, they're so close. They're right on my ass, Fox. Huh. So, oh, dude, that would be. Damn it. Huh. I'm going ahead. So, Back me up, Fox. You die. That announcer's like, fuck you. You suck. That'd be cool. Somebody should dub in, like, do a mod of this game with uh, Star Fox voices. And have huh. them pop up at the bottom of the screen. No need, I'll do it. <laughs> the shield is down! Shoot the core! <laughs> I've got a bogey on my tail! Fox, get this guy off me! Oh good, just what we needed. This arcade game plus annoying stuff. These guys just keep coming! <laughs> I know, Falco. And it's accepted in 2018. <laughs> okay. Who's the bad guy here? It seems like you're just like the No, it's the space stations. What does condition mean? Is that oh, like your health? That's, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of them. Holy shit. It's a condition green. Oh, I think that's when enemies approach. It changes the condition. Oh. Line them up like this all the time, please. Right left. It shows you on the mini-map. I are. know, Christopher! <laughs> I don't want to turn to a goddamn rock! Turn to the rock! The asteroid is the only place to hide from the Imperial fleet. It's okay. Uh, oh, damn it. Blast off. He said blast off. Uh, we finally figured it out. Because the name of the game was like Bascon or something. I thought he was saying Bascon. I like how this is the game that we actually sat and played for an extended period of time. It's fun! It's good! It's enjoyable! Formation attack incoming. <laughs> Drop altitude. <laughs> incoming enemy from the rear! Drop, Drop trousers! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was surprised it took us this long to start doing Star Fox references on this, on this game. Uh, oh. Be careful out there, Fox! He changed his weak spot. That's a good... I, I just have a question. How come when you start Star Fox 64, you remember when Star Fox talks to General Pepper? Yeah. It's like, don't worry, Andros. He won't... Uh, don't worry, Pepper. Andros won't have his way with me. And he's like, sound, he speaks with a southern accent. No. He does! No, he doesn't. It's like the only time in the game where he talks like that, and all the other times, like, he doesn't have that accent. It's so weird. Holy shit, everything's coming at me. Oh, boy. Formation attack incoming. These guys really Oh, do. boy! They were so eager to meet their end. Huh. <laughs> ah! Oh! Is that it? Nope, not yet. Ready Player One. Not yet. The party's just begun. Star Wolf shows up. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Oh, dude, you know what we, we need to come across in Namco? You know that, um... Actually, we may have even seen it already. Do you know that thing, that item in Smash 4 and, and Smash Ultimate, where, like, it picks you up and carries you to the top yeah, of the stage? Yeah, yeah, that's Boss Galaga. That was in the first game I played. Okay. 
Yeah, well, you rudely fucking cut me. You know, I need to give that another fair shot because I only died once before calling it. Oh, because I, I unplugged the controller or something. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Don't blame me. I had nothing to do with it. I will blame you. I'm taking the O.J. Simpson defense next time on Retro Roulette. Come back tomorrow for the final episode of uh, Namco Museum. <laughs>